My name is David Casey. I work for Bosch Rexroth. I'm working as the manufacturing engineer. I am currently over two of the machining cells that we have for the cylinders and the drive shafts. Um, so those are two of our largest volume parts. Mostly mobile hydraulics, um, so agriculture, um, construction, mining, uh, material handling. As far as part families go, we have 14 different part families. Um, and then as far as the component manufacturing across those, like cylinders we have anywhere, we have 150 part numbers uh, just for the cylinder components. Drive shafts we have about 250. Housings we have like 600. And port blocks we have almost 800 unique part numbers that we, we make in-house. As far as the cylinder manufacturing side of things, we make anywhere between 800 to 1100 a day um, per shift, per 24 hour shift. And for drive shafts, we should make anywhere, anywhere between 600 and 800 of the drive shafts. As far as the turning aspect goes, the tolerances we have to hold are anywhere between plus or minus 20 microns. I think our smallest, our smallest bearing diameter tolerance is 30 microns for the process dimension um, before heat treat. And with the, the Seco clamping heads, we can actually change out the tools. Um, the tool comes preset from the tool setter. And there's only three tools that you have to actually input the the tool setter geometry for. We don't put it in for any of the roughers, but we put the geometries in for the finish, the two finish turn tools and the cutoff tool. Um, and between those, putting in the tool geometry, you, you repeat within 10 microns. So we, we, hold, we hold that 30 micron tolerance pretty comfortably. Before, the, the operator was actually stopping the machine going, changing each and every insert, uh, flipping it over, tightening it back down. Um, it just allows the operators to focus more on what they need to do instead of changing inserts all the time. Um, and it frees them up to make more parts and better parts. Um, the Seco Capto also helps with reducing the tooling needed at the machine, um, replaces a drawer full of inserts with a cart that only has what you need. One of the good things about Seco was their, uh, their willingness to work with us to help design custom tool holders. They helped us develop a uh, double clamping unit that was VDI-30 to a C4. Um, that allowed us to utilize the Y-axis on our machines um, and helps us turn one tool pocket into two tools so that you can, you can have two tools in one, a single pocket. I think one of the things that distinguishes this company from any other company that I've seen, that the, the complexity of the machines. Um, most companies are not willing to spend a million or a million and a half dollars on a machine. Um, and most companies do have smaller machines where you have multiple operations. Um, for the most part, a lot of the stuff that we do is done in a single machine. It comes out complete. You have two clampings within a single machine, and you have a finished part that comes out. Um, and naturally, when you have fewer clampings, fewer material handling, fewer chances for operator error, you're going to make a better part.